since the Super Bowl, uh, the media has exploded on, you know, Mahomes, look at Mahomes, three Super Bowls in five years, two winning, two, two wins in five years. He's better than Tom Brady. What he's doing is better than Tom Brady. And I'm sitting here like, did we all forget, you know, what exactly is happening in the NFL? What has happened in history? By the way, Mahomes, three Super Bowl appearances, two wins, two MVPs. <clears throat> Brady, uh, in his first five years. Brady, three Super Bowl appearances, three wins, two MVPs. He went three for three. Mahomes went two for three. And one of those losses was to Tom Brady. Uh, Brady at 45, Mahomes at what, 25, 26 years old? So I decided to do a little bit of research. And I, I have, you know, some, I, I have the Super Bowl stats here and I'm going to bring them up on screen for you. Uh, let's see if I can get that up for everyone here. Here we go. Brady's first three Super Bowls. Completion percentage of 59%, 16 to 27. Uh, 145 yards, one touchdown, 86.2 passer rating. The Rams had the third ranked defense that year and Brady was sacked the sixth most. So he was up against a great defense and he had a horrible offensive line. That's just the way it is. In 2003, by the way, he won MVP of that first Super Bowl uh, with a game-winning drive uh, where John Madden is saying, hey, let's shut it down. Let, let's shut it down and, and go play for overtime here. He does that. Uh, by the way, I'm also going to give credit to, credit to Belichick shutting down. Or not shutting down, but basically, you know, slowing down the, uh, the greatest show on turf. You know, I, I would say uh, Belichick said, here, I'm going to slow them down. You take care of it. And that's what Brady did. So I would give it like 60-40 Belichick Brady in that one. 2003. 32 of 48, which is 67%, 66.6. 354 yards, three touchdowns, two picks, 100.5 passer rating. The Panthers that year had the eighth ranked defense, and Brady was sacked the 10th most. So again, going up against a good, a really good defense, a top 10 defense, and Brady was sacked uh, more than 22 other quarterbacks. So his offensive line wasn't good that year. And once again, these Super Bowls, he's throwing it to the best receiver, which may be Troy Brown which I think maybe has, I don't think, I, I'll bring it up right now, but I don't think Troy Brown, uh, I think like throughout these, these playoffs, I don't think they had barely any pro bowlers, and I think they had zero all pros. So Troy Brown in those two Super Bowls, which he played with the Patriots with, he had one pro bowl, and that was the first Super Bowl. First Super Bowl. So he had one pro bowl in that first Super Bowl run. Uh, in 2002, I don't think they had any pro bowlers uh, that Brady was throwing to. For, for sure, no tight ends he was throwing it to. Um, so that was Super Bowl, was it 37 there? 38, sorry. The next one, Super Bowl 39 against the Eagles. Deion Branch won MVP in this one, and Brady won against the Panthers in that one. Uh, Brady threw 23 of 33, which is 69.6, which I rounded up to 70%. 236 yards, two touchdowns, 110.2 passer rating. The Eagles that year had the 10th best defense, and Brady, this, this year, he had a better offensive line. He was sacked the 20th most. Um, so, and Brady still... I mean, in the first Super Bowl, Brady was, a, I believe, what, a two-year player? He came after uh, a 5-11 and season with, with Drew Bledsoe, came in that next year. They went like 0-2, and, and then Brady cleaned up the rest of the way. And look what Brady did. And of course, they didn't throw it that much because they were up against, they were trying, just trying to play the clock. And they didn't even, they ran the ball okay. I think they had like, what, 75 yards with Antoine Smith. Who the hell is Antoine Smith? Good question. Not many people know unless you're in Foxborough. So... 2003, they let him throw the ball a lot. He threw it 48 times, completed 67% of his passes. And in 2004, against the Eagles, he threw it 33 times. So he's not like not throwing the football. Threw the football in two of the Super Bowls. The first one didn't throw it that many times. He threw it 27 times. Let's get into Pat Mahomes. The next Tom Brady. Here's his first three Super Bowls. 2019, against the 49ers, who had the second best defense. Uh, Mahomes went 26 of 42. 62% or 61.9 around it. 286, 286 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, 78.1 passer rating. His offensive line was phenomenal. He, was, he got sacked the 31st most times. Offensive line was great that year. In 2020 against the Buccaneers, they had an injured offensive line. So I'm not going to mention the offensive line because it was a bunch of new players. But he, I, he had crazy, I think he was pressured on almost 40% of his dropbacks. 26 of 48, or 26 of 49, which is 53%, 53.1 around it. 270 passing yards, no touchdowns, two picks, a 52.3 passer rating. And, you know, there were, I think even Mahomes said that he, if he just stayed in the pocket, he could actually made uh, some actual throws and made some completions there. So Mahomes even mentioned that. 
in this past uh, Super Bowl, this past Sunday, 21 to 27, which is 77%, 77.8, 78%. Uh, 182 yards, three touchdowns, no picks, 131.1 pass, 131.8 passer rating. Uh, by the way, uh, the Bucks had the sixth ranked defense. Uh, and then in this past Super Bowl, uh, the Eagles had the second ranked defense, and Mahomes was sacked for the 21st, uh, 21st most times. So Mahomes had a great offensive line. And all of these Super Bowls, or all of these years, the Super Bowl uh, against the Bucks, he didn't have a great offensive line. Brady had a horrible offensive line until his very last Super Bowl. And then he went on that long stretch. He lost twice to Eli Manning and everything like that, but we won't get into that. People are calling the Chiefs a dynasty. I th- and I think that word gets thrown around too much now. Did we think when the Giants won twice in five years that they were a dynasty? They won in 07 and 2011. Do we think of them as a dynasty after beating Brady twice? They defeated him. On, they, they defeated the undefeated Patriots, uh, the 18-0 Patriots once, and then he defeated the probably one of, if not the best Patriots offenses in 2011. Beat him twice. The Giants were never called a dynasty. A dynasty generally means three times. Even in the first two Super Bowls, 2001 and 2003, Super Bowl 36 and 38, the Patriots were not called a dynasty until they beat out the Eagles in Super Bowl 39, and then they were called a dynasty. And also Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk uh, says that the Chiefs could have made it to each of the last six Super Bowls with Mahomes. I remember against the Bengals in the AFC Championship game, Mahomes throwing a very ugly interception in overtime and playing not, I mean, he gave up a double-digit halftime lead, I believe, in the AFC Championship game against the Bengals. So we couldn't make it to that one because Mahomes didn't play that well. And then Mahomes had, uh, I mean, Mahomes had that great, uh, and then uh, was it the game before, the, the amazing divisional game, uh, Chiefs-Bills, uh, Gabriel Davis had four touchdowns and they took 13 seconds to score a touchdown. I think we're using the word dynasty too much. Mahomes needs to win one more to be, for it to be called a dynasty. It's not two Super Bowl wins. It isn't. And I've seen a lot of people say, well, Mahomes is doing, so- Mahomes and the Chiefs are doing stuff that we haven't seen ever. Brady did it. Brady did it. Mahomes joins the company of one other player after this win. For most, most uh, like, like, uh, the most Super Bowls from an active player. And that's Jimmy G with two. Now, he was a backup in both those Super Bowls, but he joins that company. It's Jimmy G and Patrick Mahomes is the only two quarterbacks that have multiple Super Bowls that are active right now. Is Mahomes phenomenal? Yes, he is. Is he the best quarterback in the league right now? Yes, he is. But he's only won two Super Bowls. So calling him the greatest quarterback of all time, you can't do it. You can't do it because guess what? Brady won three Super Bowls with having two great performances. People still said, eh? And by the way, those three Super Bowls, he had three game-winning drives. They said, oh, you can't beat Joe. Joe's 4-0. You got to pass Joe Montana. And Mahomes, we're not even talking about Joe Montana. We're jumping the gun to Tom Brady. Oh, he's better than Tom Brady because he won two Super Bowls in five years. Yeah, but here's the thing. Brady beat him twice. One in the Super Bowl, one in the 2018 AFC Championship game. So Brady has stopped him from getting two more rings, potentially. One ring, definitely, because they played in the Super Bowl and then the AFC Championship game, where they I would give it a pretty good shot they would have beaten the, the Rams in 2018. We're jumping the gun here. Joe Montana was called the greatest quarterback of all time. Even Lawrence Taylor today is saying that, oh, Joe Montana is still the greatest quarterback of all time. He has to pass Joe Montana. He also has to pass Teddy Bridgewater, who also has four. And then guess what? To be called the greatest of all time, you know, you got to do what Brady did. You got to pass Charles Haley for the most, or for what was the most Super Bowl rings of any player, which was, I believe was five. Brady's got seven. In 10 tries. You're now 2 of 3. Congratulations. In the Super Bowl, Mahomes has not played very well. He just hasn't. This was maybe his best Super Bowl game. And that's only because he didn't turn the ball over. If he turned it over once or twice, let's just say once, Mahomes probably would not have won that game. We're taking a look at it here. In the Super Bowl, Brady in total... 71 of 108, 66%, uh, compared to 73 of 118, 62%. So we're taking a look here. Mahomes has thrown it 10 more times. 10 more times. 
has only completed two more passes. So you can't say, Mahomes is throwing it so much more than Brady. Not really. How many yards? 738 to 735. One yard a game difference. Passer rating, Brady has it. Brady has it, what? Uh, 12, 12, 11.6 points higher. Brady has a 99 passer rating in all these Super Bowls combined. Uh, Mahomes has an 87.4. So, Brady's been a better Super Bowl quarterback. And here's the thing. I don't think Brady has a single Hall of Fame receiver or tight end that he was throwing it to in these Super Bowls. Mahomes has had two. Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, now people are saying, is the greatest tight end of all time. And Tyree Kill is the fastest human alive with pads on. Brady didn't have that. Brady didn't have that. And we had to say, oh, great defenses. Yeah, the Patriots defense in 2003 that gave up 29 points to a guy I don't even remember. I was it Jake Delhomme? Is Was he on the team by then? I believe that was who it is. Jake Delhomme. Who is he? Many people don't even know. So I think we got to cut it down with this dynasty stuff. Mahomes has to pass the guy that Brady has to pass first. He has to pass Joe Montana before we can talk about Tom Brady. And if we're talking about rings. Oh, yeah, then we got to talk about Charles Haley first. And then we get to Brady because Brady is at seven. When you talk about who has won the most Super Bowls, you start with Tom Brady and then you go to the Patriots and Steelers. That's what you have to do. And I, I forget if the 49ers have five or six, but regardless, Brady is at the pinnacle of when you talk about, oh, you know, who has the most Super Bowls? You start with Tom Brady and then you move on to organizations. Mahomes has two. The same as Eli Manning. We don't call Eli Manning the GOAT. He, he beat the GOAT. All due respect to him. The first, I, I've, I've always said this 2011. Eli Manning clearly outplayed. I mean, he still holds the record for most passing yards in the playoffs. Mahomes doesn't even have that. And then 2007, I'm going to say this until I die. That defense was the reason the, the, the Giants won. I'm not, I'm not going not gonna to go there. So, I think we do need to cut it out with this. Mahomes, I mean, we're saying Mike Florio, pro football talk. Chiefs could have made it to the last six Super Bowls. Did they have the talent to do it? Yeah, because Mahomes is there. That's what people are saying. Mahomes is the reason they can get to all six Super Bowls. Well, you can because Joe Burrow beat you. And you played pretty poorly in that. You lost to, to Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game because Brady converted three straight third and tens, third and longs in that overtime. It's called impossibly great. This, isn't, this, this doesn't take anything away from Mahomes. I, I literally said earlier in, this, earlier in this take, Mahomes is a phenomenal talent. He's the number one quarterback this year and many years. But we have to cut it down on, on comparing him. See, we're talking about the greatest of all time here. Mahomes is very, very talented. Very, very, very talented. One of, a, he has a top three arm in the league. He's very athletic, not as athletic as a Jalen Hurts, a Justin Fields, uh, even a Josh Allen, or even a, I, I guess Josh Allen's a good comp, but Lamar Jackson, any of these mobile quarterbacks, he doesn't have that mobility, but he has a mobility like these huge arm throwers that also have legs like a Josh Allen. Patrick Holmes is, is super talented. But if we're talking about who's the greatest quarterback of all time, or even the greatest player of all time, Mahomes has a lot of work to do. Could he get there? Brady and Gronk even admitted Mahomes is the closest thing to catch up to Tom Brady. We just have to see now. When you're talking about playing these Super Bowls, Brady didn't have a single Hall of Famer he was throwing it to. Patrick Holmes had two. This past season, he had one. Not a single Hall of Famer. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Chiefs had, like, they, they were tied for most Pro Bowlers, mo mo most players that made the Pro Bowl this season. Brady didn't get that in his first three. Nowhere near that. So, let's, I'm, not, I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm just saying. Let's calm it down a little bit. <laughs> let's calm it down a little bit. 